more than 250 free schools are open across England. Funded by government and free to attend, these brand new state schools offer a high quality education to children from all backgrounds. I thought it would give her the best opportunity to engage with the subjects that she was learning. Every morning when he comes in for school, I can't catch him, he's off like a rocket. If I compare it to other schools, this is maybe number one choice of mine. She's going to get opportunities that the, my older two kids didn't have. The kids are all going to get the best education they can. What more do you want? Free schools are in demand, addressing deprivation, the need for new places and driving up standards. Free schools are opening all over England and many have been set up by existing educational providers like the Big Creative Academy in East London. Formerly known as Deviate Academy, this new school will offer a show-stopping education to an eager group of young people who are desperate for an opportunity to show what they can do. Smile, relax and enjoy. Welcome to DV8. What's unique about DV8 is that we're small and that we are going to focus on the creative arts. The creative and cultural sectors have traditionally been predominantly white and middle class. We need to see more people from different diverse backgrounds working in the media and the performing arts and drama and dance and really work with those young people to give them the opportunity to open those doors. Since 2000, the Big Creative Education Group has been offering courses in the media and performance arenas. In September 2014, they set up a new free school to give more people the chance to access their education. I think it's a really big thing for East London, for DV8 to be here on this scale. Young people come to us because they want to work in music and media, and that's what we're here to fulfil. It's a hard industry to get into, you really have to come in with experience and passion. At the Academy we just felt that it's going to just open it up to so many more students. Two months before the free school opened, Prospective students were invited to an open day to give them a flavour of what's ahead. What I'm going to ask you to do is start thinking about what this poem means, what it's about, what the themes are or what the subject of the poem is, and then use that text in order to create some kind of performance. What attracts me about uh, the Deviate Academy is the opportunity to be in an environment that is focused around industry. The tutors are sort of in the industry themselves and they have their own careers with it. They know what they're talking about, so like it's more comfortable to talk to them. It's not like teachers like telling you what to do and like sort of writing on the whiteboard and then you're doing that. It's more hands-on. We've not decided on what the academy is going to offer just based on what we think. There's been lots of conversations with employers and with different sectors to get from them what they want from our young people. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up? Like a raisin in the sun. Oh. Or fester like a sort and then run. Does it stink like rotten meat? Maybe it just sags. Like a heavy load. Or does it explode? Performing, it it, it just lights me off. I, there's, there's no words I can describe it. I love doing it. It's a, and DVA, I think, can open a lot of doors for me to get places. They have everything. Like, you're able to meet other people. You're able to explore your ambitions. You can basically do what your dream like you can actually accomplish something it's not always easy some of the young people that we work with although they're passionate and they're enthusiastic there's a lot that needs to be done to support them before they're ready to learn so deviates an excellent platform for working with those rough diamonds and before those rough diamonds can be polished big creative academy needs to get its new staff up to speed and working as a team as with all free schools, Big Creative Academy's new start means teachers have a chance to build a curriculum from scratch. So with just four weeks to go, the head teacher has organised a staff training day. For some of you, it's the first time you've seen some of the team you're working with. So for me, a really, really warm, warm welcome. It's absolutely vital at the start of a new place that everybody uh, does muck in and do practical things as we've been doing. Everyone's very enthusiastic and, you know, I think we're all going to work very well together. It feels like a family already and I'm really excited about joining the Academy. I'm really excited about being in a brand new school because I get to help set the, the tone, shape the culture and really shape the experience that students are going to have here. We've got three weeks now before the students start. I know we're going to blink and they're going to be with us. For me, it's about how we get ourselves to the point of being ready when they arrive.
For me, it's very important that when a young person starts on their first day, they walk into a building that's fit for purpose, has all the equipment they need, up and running, and meets the expectations that we've put out in our websites, in our prospectus, and through open evenings. As well as developing the students' creativity through courses in media, music production, fashion and graphic design, Big Creative Academy will ensure that all of its students have key skills in English and maths, the bedrock of an education that they will need wherever their career leads. Even students who've passed um, GCSE maths at school will still have maths embedded in their courses and some of them will need support and day-to-day -day help with it. I see my role as being in charge of maths across the whole place. You get one chance to make a first impression and it's very important for me that that first impression sticks with that young person and they go home to their parents saying, I made the right choice. It means a lot because I wouldn't have really got into this if it weren't for this college. I would have just been doing A-levels which I wouldn't have wanted to do, I would have been in a job that I don't want to do. I just thought it was a different type of environment and academy and it provided the things that I wanted to do from since I was young. I know of a college um, did the stuff that they do here. In general, the building, the people, I'm always going to be networking, meeting new people who might know somebody, who knows someone, who knows someone, and I could bump into someone who can give me an opportunity to take it to a next level. The things I'm most looking forward to are seeing the progression, seeing their confidence develop and their skills develop, um, and what they can do. For the young people, they're very savvy now. You know, in the current day and age, they know what they want, they know what they're looking for bringing that to the East End, bringing it to E17, where there hasn't been that opportunity and allowing young people to feel that there is somewhere in, in their location, in their region to come to where they can get creative education by experts, I think for them has been really, really important. The media serves you know, the whole country. It needs to be representative of the people that watch it. Many of the big media organisations themselves are feeling out of touch with young people. I think the key to it is reimagine education, which is a very exciting thing for teachers and for students alike. See what their hopes and dreams are and hopefully supporting that. I really like it, the whole atmosphere is good, the teachers are very good. I'm ready for the challenge. This is really what I wanted to do so it's really great that it's here.